Francis Scott Key, based on the show and what I've learned, he, I think he represents a good example of what it meant to be a man of God in an ungodly world, especially with the trials and challenges he had to face as a Christian man. He wanted to be a pastor, but he had to sacrifice that to become a lawyer to support his family, even though he was a man of faith and he used his time as a lawyer to fight for anti-slavery. He still owned slaves, but it was a process he had to learn how to bear with. And again, talks about that in the Bible too, about how to live in this world and still be a man of God. He valued art. He still wrote poetry, even in, in his darkest times. And he still found joy in life, even when there were times when he didn't want to find it. But again, he did good for man and not just himself. With the election, it's, it's important to know about our American politicians and our figures. Who are they? Why they have value in our lives? Especially ones that are like over 200, 300 years ago. It's like, because over time you can forget things. And it's important to remember people like him and the good examples he shows. The National Anthem at Penn Station Theater.